hi everyone you welcome back to my channel this is 401 styling today we are going to be learning how to make this rose sleeve okay the long and the short fashion of it okay so for this you are going to need your basic sleeve pattern i'll be using the long and the short because i'm going to do um two method okay and we are going to be arriving at um two different type of sleeve okay so for the second one we are going to be using is slash and spread method okay so after that you'll need the fabric of your choice at least one yard okay for the long one and for the shorter one you can need up to like one yard two yards all together so the next thing you want to do now your pattern paper you're going to be folding it on bias just like you see me doing all right so after folding it you make sure that this edge is on fold okay then you're going to come in with your basic sleeve pattern this elbow line is what you're going to use as a landmark on the new pattern paper so you're going to place it on it this way but I'll just turn it to the other way around. The folded edge of the sleeve pattern it will be facing the folded edge of the um, new pattern paper. Okay, so I'm just going to do that again. So just like you see me doing, you make sure that the elbow line is at the edge of the paper this way. Okay, so I guess we can see clearly now. Just place it the way I'm placing it. Then you're going to secure it with a pin. Or you use your tape so you can do this directly on your fabric and you can also do it on the paper just like we are doing just to be on the safe side okay so make sure that you have enough fabric okay depending on how voluminous you want it to be and this upper part I'm going to add seam allowance and by the side we're going to add our seam allowance on the fabric so now I'm going to cut out the pattern just like you see me doing just go ahead and do the same thing okay so after cutting out like this we are going to place it on our fabric then we're going to trace out our lines then we had same allowance so just like you see me doing you are going to have the allowance by the side like this and you come to this hand you're going to have your seam allowance of 0.5 inch round just like you see me tracing it out so now i'm done tracing out and i'm just going to cut out according to the lines that i have so i'm going to be adding to the length of the sleeve normally your fabric should be enough for you to be able to have a longer sleeve so you need to add to the length of the sleeve on the pattern paper okay so just pardon me this is just for the tutorial i'm going to be adding to the length of the sleeve after cutting out so i'm just going to cut um, a piece of fabric to join to the length here okay to make it longer so please when you are doing your own you had the length you had to the length on the pattern paper or even on your fabric okay to not forget so after this now we are going to come in with our pattern paper our sleeve pattern paper so this line that i'm tracing out is where we are going to be joining it with our 0.5 seam allowance okay so now we're going to cut out the lining and the lining is going to start from the sleeve cap down to the elbow line okay and for this i'm also going to be adding 0.5 allowance okay so i'm going to be using a contrasting fabric for this just for the sake of the tutorial so when you're making yours you use the same fabric you use for your sleeve for the lining as well so guys now i'm done joining and, I, and what i'm trying to do now is to notch that center point so that i will be able to turn it and then the next thing you want to do now i already have my lining so i'm just going to find the mid my mid point of my lining but before that i need to turn out this this pointed edge is where you're going to pull out okay you're going to pull it out this way and you automatically have your rose effect even before any other thing so this is my lining i'm just going to find the midpoint of this lining because i'm going to be placing that edge of the main fabric i'm going to place it on the center of the fabric okay so that i'll be able to get uh, i just want to get a center line okay it has to be you know even so then i'm just going to place it on it this way and i'm going to secure it with a pin or a thread i need you immediately this is when you are going to form your drip then after you have secure the hedge or the cap sleeve you are going to arrange the drips as prefer then you're going to untuck the drips down but before that you will need to secure this edge by sewing down you can sew by from the side to the upper part and to the other side just to secure it so after that down i'm going to come in with my thread and needle just like i have here then i'm going to tack my drapes down i'm going to arrange it as preferred so go ahead and do the same thing arrange as you prefer just to form your 
you know from your design from your rose shape and you untuck it with your thread and needle just like you see me do it then after which you are okay with your drapes and your shapes then you can now fold it into two this way right side facing right side join the sides together just like the way you join your regular sleeve then our sleeves are ready so i'm going to do that now to show us and come back to show us how it's going to look like so guys this is what we have at the end just go ahead and press it okay and this is the front part okay the next thing i want to do now is to i'm still going to put this on a mannequin for us to see clearly but before that we are going to move to the second method and this area is where you are going to join to your hammer if you want to have a puff you are going to do that on your pattern paper and we are done with the first method so now for the second method we are going to be making use of our busy sleeve pattern but the short one this time around so what you are going to do you are going to slash through the midpoint of the pattern paper and place it on your fabric like this it's not going to be on a straight line it's going to be on bias and you secure it with a pin so after securing with a pin you are, you you had your seam allowance but on this pattern i already have my seam allowance so there'll be no need for that so what i'll just do next is just to cut out the pattern just like you see me doing after that the next thing you want to do now is to trace this shape in the middle okay this area that you slash are going to shape it out just like you see me doing and after shaping it down you are going to pick from this edge to this edge to form a bias shape shape and then you're going to stitch it down like this okay so after stitching now then this was is going to look like so the next thing i want to do now is to turn it inside out like we did for the first one it's still the same process from now on then we are going to come in with your lining just like we did for the first one you place it on it this way right side facing right side then you stitch down the m line so this is what you are going to have after then so the next thing you want to do is to secure the sleeve cap with your pins then you're going to untack arrange your drapes the way you like just like we did for the first one and that is it you are just going to join the side of your sleeve just like the way you join your regular sleeve so guys that'll be all for this tutorial after this you are just going to show us how it's going to look like on our mannequin so please do not forget to subscribe to the channel like this video please share this video drop your comment drop your thoughts and please share so that we can reach as many people as possible so guys this is what we have for the shorter version as you can see then this is the longer version so you can decide to go on and make any one of your choice attach it to your dress or your garments and you're good to go so thank you very much once again for watching this tutorial till next time that we are going to meet in my next tutorial bye bye and take care of yourself